We're going to paint the Batman now. And there's two versions of the Batman. Sometimes if you're really, really busy, you don't have time to fill the Batman in. Or if the child is really, really young, you don't have, you can't fill it in because it's just too uncomfortable on a young child. So what you do when you paint just an outline is you have to have the symmetry absolutely perfect. And you achieve that by starting on your backhand side and then matching it up with your even side. Very still going. Close your eyes softly. Sometimes it helps to get the child to close their eyes nice and softly and that helps them focus. We're going to put two little dots here as our markers for the bottom of our Batman wings and come around the edge like this. Into that dot, into that dot, and up onto the nose. And then the ears of the Batman. Now for a lot of kids, open your eyes David, for a lot of children, this Batman is enough just with the outline and especially for very young children, this is all you would do. However, because David is quite a big boy, what we're going to do now is we're going to fill that Batman in. So what I've done is I've put a little bit of paint, Derivan paint, which is the liquid paint, into the lid. This makes it an instant palette to work from because the paint is already worked into a liquid form. All I have to do, good boy David with your eyes closed, is dip my brush in and away I go painting. And you can see that it gives fantastic coverage. I'm using the chisel brush, which is a little bit flatter, and that means I can get a little bit more paint on. Just turn your head, good boy. Now, whenever you're painting, especially painting children which, who can be unpredictable to paint and can move, I always keep the top of my hand on their head so there's no way they can move. It also means when I'm painting them, I can move their head around to get the paint exactly where I want it to go. Coming over the eyes. And up onto the ears. Very good model. Very still. Whenever you're painting over the eyes, try and just be aware not to put too much paint over the eyes. So keep it a little bit lighter there. And now we're coming underneath the eyes. And just finishing this side of the Batman off. Because this is a liquid paint, there's no mixing or having to activate your palette. It's all ready to go. So that means your time is really reduced when you have long lines and lots of kids waiting. As I said, you're not mixing the paint, you're just dipping straight in and away you go for a really fantastic effect every single time. The line work is always crisp, clean, and always covers beautifully and evenly. If you need to touch up any of those lines, you can just come around and do that. Open your eyes. If you want, if there's a good model, you can always get them to open their eyes and look up and just paint in a little bit closer under the eyes. But not all children like to be painted so close to the eyes. And there's our terrific looking Batman. Nee, 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 n